Hey, hey, it's Mike here, and I'm at ReachKeep.com, and welcome. Uh, good to have you here at, uh, hey, all oh, my phone's ringing. I better shut that off. Okay. Not sure what's going on here. Thought we had all that said. Anyway, hey, God bless. Good to have you here, Reaching Young Families. And uh, I am back after uh, uh, a little bit of a sabbatical there. I uh, kind of took off uh, from Mother's Day from now, but uh, back and going. Get some uh, good stuff for you here, and good to have you online. Appreciate all the feedback I got uh, just from the quick little note that uh, we put out. I'll start to get some stuff back to you here. Uh, helping you guys reach young families in your local church. There's just a lot, a lot of young families out there uh, that we get to reach. Every Sunday we get to do this. And uh, we want to talk about today uh, a very important topic uh, that has to do with all of our uh, announcements and bulletins and some of those things. And in fact, somebody uh, said the other day, I've got a uh, one of our little bulletins right here. I'll go through this in detail in just a moment. Uh, someone said the other day how much they hate giving announcements. And let me say something, if you hate giving announcements, probably people hate listening to your announcements as well. And uh, you shouldn't hate anything in the local church. Man, we love this thing. This is what we get to do. We get to do church every Sunday, every seven days, and a lot of other stuff in between. We get to get involved and do a lot of cool stuff. And part of it is the announcements. And you might think announcements and bulletins, and how can that be exciting? Well, let me just say, here's how. Here's what I believe anyway. Your, your preaching is about what you believe. It's your doctrine. It's all your line upon line, precept upon precept, all of those things. That's what your preaching is. Preaching is what you believe. Your announcements are what you are doing about what you believe. Let me say that again. Your announcements are what you're doing uh, about what you believe. And that is such a, a super important thing that we put, do, we're doers, not just hearers. And in our case, we're doers, not just speakers of the word. Uh, with preachers, it can get that way too. We can be preachers of the word and not doers. And uh, we want to make sure that we're, uh, that we're doing all that stuff. So anyway, uh, I want to go through a couple of things here, uh, spend a few minutes with you. Uh, they have to do with our announcements and how these things work. And I am uh, sorry for these interruptions here. I'm in my studio. Uh, we're just getting some new things set up here. I'm very excited about some things. We just ordered some more equipment and uh, able to do these things a little bit better. Uh, but we're grateful for our uh, headquarters here in Sinclair, Wyoming. We have a beautiful old hotel. Uh, you've probably seen some pictures of it before, uh, 48,000 square feet. And uh, we fill it up with people on Sunday. And uh, things are going great here at our local church. I want to spend a few moments in talking about announcements and, and just in general and then I want to kind of talk and really focus on, on uh, bulletins here uh, in the main thing. Your announcements, again, are what you're doing about what you believe. And your announcements need to be a passion part of what you do. And don't take your announcements and relegate them off to somebody that's boring or someone doesn't do that. You as a pastor, as the leader, you take those announcements and you run with those things and you get those things going. You get people fired up about putting feet to their Christianity. Uh, that's what we do around here. I love doing the announcements and I love talking about the things that we're doing and, and putting it together. And again, this is something that is, uh, if you love the local church, you, you need to love do what the local church does. And our announcements are all about those kind of things. Now, let's talk specifically about bulletins. Uh, we have our bulletin. Uh, is driven by our core values. Now, let me say something. Every announcement and everything you do in your church needs to be driven by your values, your budget, your calendar, and all your announcements. All of those things need to be driven by what is going on, you know, or what you are all about. And so the things that happen are what you're all about. And if you do other things, uh, for the most part, they're a waste of time. There's a few things that you do, uh, you know, outside of, of that, but not, not much. Almost everything's driven by core value. Now, we have our primary core value, number one, number one, not number two, number one <laughs> core value is uh, what we call intimacy with God. And we're going to teach our people how to be close to God, how to spend time, you know, in the Bible, how to get close to God, how to know him personally. Uh, we don't believe it takes three to thrive. We believe it takes, uh, let me do it here, seven to thrive, okay? Uh, seven days a week in the Bible you need to be uh, if you're going to thrive, and that's what uh, what we teach around here. So we want our bulletin to drive that and to, to supplement that. So that's why we have in-depth sermon notes for every single sermon. We print sermon notes. We don't have just a blank sheet of paper with a one, two, and a three or something like that. We take time to, to work these things out 
and to make sure that they are, uh, you know, just driven right by exactly what's going on. So when you start, uh, the message just starts here. We have a theme verse. It goes all the way through. We go boom, boom, boom. We got these points. We got some application and uh, some of that. And I help people say, now fill out number two. Number two says this. So number two, three says this. We want people to remember things because that drives their intimacy with the Lord. That's what keeps them close and focused to God is when they spend that time, you know, in the Word and remembering those kind of things. So what we do want them, as some people say, well, they're looking at their notes. They're not looking at you. Oh, no, they look at you, and they, they're anticipating what the next blank is, and they can't wait to figure out what the applications are. They are look, they're looking into you as a pastor to lead them there and you lead them through the, the notes and you lead them into spiritual uh, closeness with God and intimacy. So every one of our things has fill in the blank notes. So now we also publish these online. So people that don't make it to church can get these on our Facebook group. And uh, we have uh, some other things. And let me go through what those are, because here's what happens. I usually end up spending like this much time studying and only have this much time for presentation. You know, so I have a lot of material, but not enough time to get it all in. What I do then is I turn uh, our, on the back of our bulletin here. And by the way, our, our bulletin, it does still have some announcements and some things like that on the inside. Um, but we, we don't waste our time with a little picture of a bird or something like that and some poem on the back or whatever. We want to use every piece of our paper profitable there. We're not into uh, efficiency uh, when it comes to local church. We're into effectiveness, and we want to be effective. Some people have the pre-printed uh, bulletins, and then they just copy off the inside. We just think that's a cheap shortcut, and you need to get really you know, focused and use everything that's possible be, that you can uh, to, to be effective there. Um, don't don't make it efficient, make it effective. Okay. Now, what I do is I have all this extra material. What I do is turn those into uh, Bible study type questions that we use uh, in our uh, small groups and home Bible studies throughout the week. Um, and, and, you know, we posted these online as well. So people get these all over, uh, can get these. So the top ones here, just this little orange section, I call it the growth box. These are questions that are specifically dealing with with the sermon right here. So they're follow-up questions, you know, what you learn, what you feel about that verse, you know, look up that verse, how does that apply uh, to your life, but it all has to do with what I preached on. And so I do that. We also right now are currently going through a Bible study on the book of James and just going verse by verse, and we have about two, usually cover two verses, sometimes three, and this is uh, what is covered right here. These are questions on the book of James that that each of us in the entire church are going through uh, as well. Uh, the little bottom portion here, I save this for uh, sometimes it's smaller, sometimes it's bigger. And again, every bit of this is uh, printed every Sunday, uh, completely different. In our 10 years history of our church, every single bulletin has uh, been different. And this down here, uh, you know, sometimes has a, a little bit of data, like here's what's coming up the next week. Or in this case, we, I preached on Samson, so I had a little bit of data about Samson. Some people in our church wouldn't know who he is, and so it just told a little bit of his very generic type of history. Um, by the way, as far as inviting people to come to the next week, I have this little spot right down here, and this is a little, about two sentences that says, don't forget to make it next week. Here's what I'm talking about, and I have uh, just kind of a little snippet uh, of the sermon there. Again, just a, a sentence or two uh, in, in inviting them. Occasionally, we'll have a kind of a longer detailed thing if we're doing a, a big series, but we're doing a series right now uh, called Be Strong, uh, Be Oops, I'm backwards. There we go. Uh, be strong. <laughs> and uh, very, very excited about it. So that's what's going on in our bulletin. Now, there's also ta-da, all the announcement-y kind of stuff on the inside. Nothing on this page makes it here unless it supports a core value, with the small exception of some of the data, uh, the church contact info uh, that would be at the bottom, which doesn't really have to do with the uh, our uh core values, a specific core value, but it has to do uh, with just people kind of knowing how to get to the church. So uh, everything, we have like uh, food uh, distribu distribution. Uh, we have a core value called community engagement. 
This is all about community engagement. Uh, we have one with our day camps right here. Uh, this is how the, our primary outreach for the entire summer uh, and actually really in our entire year we built our church on reaching uh, children or young families. Uh, that's all found right there. So all of those things are kind of uh, hooked in uh, and, and set right there. So that is our bulletin. Uh, and all these things, every one of these things are announcements. I've been involved with all of them. I'm excited about all of them and can't wait to get to all of them. Uh, we're going to do some more teaching on announcements uh, coming up. I made a little flow chart uh, kind of thing here uh, for your announcement giver guy. And, you know, uh, it, it starts here. Does it fit with the core values of the church? And does it apply to a majority of the listeners? And kind of a little yes, no thing you kind of work your way through and where to put those announcements or uh, where you put those in the system. We're going to talk about that next time is uh, the announcements, who gives them and when are they given? Are they before the message? Are they after the message? What works best uh, for different types of, uh, of announcements? And so I want to get all that stuff to you. So Anyway, I am glad to be back. We'll be uh, uh, posting on Reaching Young Families. If you have any questions about some things, uh, please uh, do that. I want to give you a challenge, and that is I'd like for you to post a picture of your bulletin uh, that you have. Uh, the inside, you know, we don't care about the bird on the front, uh, uh, but the inside uh, uh, of it and uh, particular things that you find are helpful a lot of people have a lot of different things they put in there. Thought that would be a good thing. Go ahead, just snap a picture of it with your phone. Post it right here on Reaching Young Families. And uh, we'll take a look at that. And we will share some of these ideas with other people around the country. And we'll uh, be able to be a big help and reach a lot of folks. Oh, I almost forgot something. I had it sitting right here. One of the things that keeps uh, people engaged with this on the inside is that we have signups and ways for them to be actively involved in this. So every Sunday... Every person gets a card. Every single person fills it out, puts their name and their data and their email on there. And if they've been here a long time, they don't uh, put all their uh, street address and all that stuff. But every person does share prayer requests. And they, you know, their personal prayer requests, and we pray for those specifically. Uh, so those are all on there. And then on this side of the card, we always have some type of response that they check that is tied to what is going on on here. So if you want to sign up for a day camp or food distribution ministry or some type of response to the sermon, those are found on the, this side of the card as well. So all of this stuff ties together. That's what keeps people engaged. There's a big difference between having them engaged and having them just participate and sit there. And uh, if you want to reach a lot of young families, Engagement is a word. You're going to have to get those folks there. So don't forget to be engaged here and send me a snapshot of your uh, bulletin, some of the things that you have on the inside of it, maybe just the whole thing uh, would be fine, laid on, the, on a table and shoot a picture uh, with your camera and uh, post it right up here on Reaching Young Families. We'll take a look at those things. And until now, I've got to sign out. Uh, don't forget to take time to share this video. You can hit the share button there should be somewhere. And if you know any other friends that need to be on Reaching Young Families and learn how to reach young families, uh, this is the place to be. Uh, this is Mike at reachkeep.com. We're here to create flourishing churches, and so glad to have you a part. God bless. We'll catch you later. Bye.